looks like a ghost ship. Aye, risen from the dead to sink us. What's up, people? The lucky we're gonna do a legendary ship battle against the HMS Prince today, the ghost ship. Um, there's not much to say about this battle. I'll cover some strategies for how to take on legendary ships, basically, in Man of War, and the video that I do on the Dama Negra, um, which I'll be doing very the one immediately after this. Um, but today I'm going to talk about something a little bit different. I mean, as far as Prince goes, your basic strategy is that it's going to more or less try to run from you, keep some distance from you, and uh, pound you with its mortars. Uh, you know, just stay on its tail and don't allow it to do that. Keep coming at it and you should be in good shape. Fairly, fairly straightforward. But what I want to talk about today was this instance down in Florida where a man got shot for texting in a movie theater. Um, and I, I find that really kind of, it's like an intriguing topic. So I, I don't know if you've heard about it. Um, this happened down in Florida, but a, a couple was at the movies. Uh, during the previews, the man was texting. Um, while he was texting, basically, uh, another man and his wife, the man who is a former retired sheriff, leaned over and asked him to stop. Here, I'll, I'll read the account. It happened Monday afternoon. Uh, they were going to see Lone Survivor. That's the new Navy SEAL mission movie. It's supposed to be just really awesome. Um, this guy, Reeves, the, the former sheriff, sat behind Olsen, who's 43, and his wife. Uh, Olsen was using his cell phone during the previews before the film, and Reeves asked him to put it away. Okay. Um, they argued for a while. Reeves got up and walked out of the auditorium. Now, apparently he went to go find a manager. Um, he, apparently he got to the manager, but the manager was busy with another customer, so he never actually spoke to the manager. So then Reeves comes back in, and he comes back in, and apparently Coulson, as he comes back in the theater without a manager, Coulson says to him, so did you go to rat me out, basically. He basically says, um... Oh, did you go tell the manager that I was using my cell phone? Well, this sparks another argument. Um, and during the course of this argument, uh, Olsen throws a bag of popcorn at Reeves. Um, and then the next thing you know, the former sheriff takes out his handgun and shoots Olsen. And actually, his wife got shot also. She's fine. Um, Olsen, however, he, he died. Um on the scene. Um, first off, um, he leaves behind uh, like a three-year-old girl um, and uh, obviously my best wishes go out to her. That's absolutely horrible that she's going to have to grow up uh, without a, a father. Um, but um, that being said, uh, I can't help but think that, you know, this tragedy could have been somewhat avoided, so to speak. Um, you know, clearly the guy, he was asked to put away his cell phone. He's texting in the movie, um, you know, and he's asked to put away his cell phone. And, and instead of, you know, saying, yeah, I'll do that, and he puts it away. Um, obviously, he, he argues to the point that where the guy gets up and feels like he has to go get a manager. And then the guy comes back. Um, and, Watch it. you know, this, this guy basically, you know, Cursed instigates it again by commenting to him, and before you know it, oh, he's, he's throwing popcorn right. at him, and he winds up shot, you know, and as, as totally over the top and ridiculous and, and outrageous that him move. getting shot was, um, I, I just, part of me feels like, you know, clearly this one guy, um, Olsen, was not showing the best uh, of manners and being polite. I mean, one, he shouldn't have been using his phone, and two, he could have avoided this argument at so many places without it escalating to what it escalated to. Um, but that didn't happen. 
Um, and instead he got shot. Now, the guy who shot him, you shouldn't be shooting people um, at all. I mean, just because you disagree with people. It's like this incident like totally reminds me of that Michael Douglas movie, Falling Down, where Michael Douglas goes like completely ballistic and like loses his own people. He like takes a, a baseball bat to convenience store because the lady won't give him change. And he goes to like a fast food restaurant and he tries to order breakfast at 1031 and they won't serve him breakfast. And he ends up pulling out a handgun and scaring everybody and making them cook him breakfast freaking hilarious movie but um that's what this reminds me of this guy just and apparently there's reports that uh, from other people that this same guy was in the same theater a few weeks back and he had returned them in for other people in for basically using their phone inside the movie you know and so this is obviously his pet peeve you know people are rude and totally inconsiderate and using their phone inside the movie and this guy just ah, yes. totally snapped. Now, what he did was completely inexcusable. But, I mean, I think that ah, the lesson yes. here, I think, to society has nothing to do with basically guns. That although, coming. that's inevitably what the discussion is going to be. Um, you know, I, I think after the Colorado shootings, you can't say that theaters need to be gun-free zones. Because clearly someone in that theater probably could have used to have a gun. Um, on the flip side, um, this is one of the few perfect examples where if there had not been a gun involved, um, both people would still be living. Um, that said, to me, this is more of like a testament of the rudeness of people. And, and just in general, you know, a society. I mean, we get so self-absorbed and with ourselves um, and we don't think of other people. And we become obnoxious and... Um, Society just needs to be more conscientious, and I just feel like if the the parties here had been all parties um, had been more polite and just more considerate of each other, then no one would be dead. Um, so, um, yeah, it's it's tragic. Um, you guys feel free to share your thoughts on the subject. I will post a a link to the story in the video. Um, thank you for coming. Um, if you're wondering, uh, this video went a little bit over, so I included some, some other footage that I had. Um, so you guys have a good one, and peace.